Imagine walking through life unaffected by criticism, failure or heartbreak. Imagine having the mental strength to weather every storm life throws your way without losing your peace of mind. Today, we're going to explore 10 powerful Stoic principles that can help you achieve exactly that. These teachings will not only guide you through life's toughest moments, but also help you to cultivate a sense of calm that no external event can disturb. Whether you're dealing with personal challenges, professional setbacks, or simply looking to build emotional resilience, these Stoic principles will change how you navigate the world. Welcome to Immutable Wisdom where we dive into the timeless wisdom of ancient philosophies to help you thrive in today's fast-paced, chaotic world. Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy, teaches that we cannot control what happens to us, but we can control how we respond. By applying these teachings, you can navigate the complexities of modern life with an unshakable sense of calm and purpose. In this video, we'll explore 10 essential Stoic principles that, if applied correctly, will ensure that nothing, absolutely nothing, can affect you negatively. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, like the video to give us motivation to publish more videos that can change your life forever. Subscribe our channel to don't miss any of our life-changing videos on your feed. Let's get started. Focus on what you can control. At the core of Stoicism is the principle that you should only concern yourself with what's within your control. Everything else, whether it's other people's opinions, societal expectations, or even random events, falls outside of your influence. This sounds simple, but in practice it's transformative. The more you internalize this concept, the less anxious you'll be, and the more mental energy you'll free up for the things that truly matter. Let's say you're working on a big project at work and your colleague is slacking off, which could impact the final result. A non-stoic approach might be to stress over your colleague's behavior, constantly worrying about how their actions will reflect on you. But the stoic approach? Focus only on your input. Are you giving 100% effort? Are you doing everything within your power to ensure the project succeeds? If the answer is yes, then there's no need to fret over things you can't control, like someone else's work ethic. Another real-life example. Imagine you're in traffic and running late for an important meeting. The typical response would be frustration, maybe even anger. But the stoic approach reminds you that traffic is beyond your control. You can't speed it up. What you can control is how you use this time. Maybe you can mentally prepare for the meeting or listen to an audiobook or podcast that expands your knowledge. This shift in focus from what you can't control to what you can turns a stressful situation into a productive one. By continually reminding yourself of what you can and cannot control, you'll find that stress, anxiety, and frustration diminish significantly. This shift in mindset will allow you to operate from a place of calm, no matter what life throws your way. One of the core tenets of Stoicism is the idea that discomfort, whether physical or emotional, is not something to be avoided. It's something to be embraced. Growth only happens when you push beyond your comfort zone, and the Stoics recognize this. By seeking out discomfort and hardship, you'll build resilience and strengthen your character. In the modern world, we're surrounded by comforts, soft beds, climate-controlled homes, endless entertainment options. But by voluntarily exposing yourself to discomfort, you'll train your mind and body to be less dependent on these luxuries. For example, try taking cold showers regularly. The initial shock is uncomfortable, but over time, you'll find that your tolerance for discomfort grows and you're able to face other life challenges with greater ease. A more emotional example might be having difficult conversations. Perhaps you've been avoiding addressing an issue with a friend or colleague because you're afraid of the discomfort it will bring. Stoicism teaches us to embrace that discomfort because the only way to solve problems and grow is to face them head on. Maybe you fear rejection or judgment, but by embracing the discomfort, you grow stronger emotionally. 
By voluntarily embracing discomfort in small, everyday ways, you'll build the mental and emotional fortitude to handle life's bigger challenges. Discomfort will no longer be something to avoid, but something to lean into and grow from. 3. Practice Negative Visualization Negative visualization is one of the most misunderstood yet powerful stoic exercises. The idea is to mentally prepare yourself for the worst case scenario, not as a way to be pessimistic, but as a way to be ready for anything. When you anticipate setbacks or difficulties, you're less likely to be thrown off course when they actually happen. If you're about to give a presentation, imagine everything that could go wrong. Perhaps the projector fails, your audience seems disengaged, or you forget your main points. Visualizing these setbacks allows you to mentally prepare and create contingency plans, reducing anxiety and increasing your confidence when the actual moment arrives. For a more personal example, consider the relationships in your life. It's easy to take for granted the presence of loved ones, but the stoic practice of negative visualization encourages you to occasionally reflect on what life would be like without them. This isn't to be morbid. It's a way of cultivating deeper gratitude for their presence and making sure you don't take those relationships for granted. You prepare yourself mentally, so if loss or change does come, you're not blindsided. By practicing negative visualization, you won't live in fear of bad outcomes. Instead, you'll be mentally prepared for them, allowing you to stay calm and collected when things go wrong. Plus, you'll appreciate the good moments even more. Accept that change is constant. The Stoics believed that everything in life is fleeting, whether it's material possessions, relationships, or even our own physical health. Trying to hold on to things or resist change is what causes suffering. Instead, Stoicism teaches us to embrace change as an inevitable part of life. We all face changes in life, moving to a new city, changing jobs, or ending relationships. The Stoic approach would be to not resist these changes, but to accept them as part of the natural flow of life. Think about a relationship that may be coming to an end. While your initial instinct might be to cling to it, Stoicism would remind you that everything is temporary. Instead of fighting the change, reflect on the growth and lessons that came from that relationship and embrace the opportunity for new experiences. Similarly, when you encounter changes at work, such as being assigned a different role or moving to a new team, resisting these shifts can lead to frustration. But if you accept that change is constant and adapt to it, you'll maintain your inner peace. When you accept that change is an inevitable part of life, you free yourself from the emotional burden of clinging to what was. Instead, you flow with life's natural rhythms, making you more adaptable and less affected by external events. 5. View problems as opportunities for growth. In Stoicism, challenges and difficulties aren't seen as setbacks. They are viewed as opportunities for growth. Every obstacle is a chance to develop resilience, patience, and wisdom. This mindset shift is crucial if you want to navigate life with an unshakable sense of calm. Let's say you experience a major career setback, such as being passed over for a promotion. The initial reaction might be disappointment or frustration, but a Stoic would see this as an opportunity to learn. Perhaps it's a sign that you need to refine your skills or expand your network. Instead of wallowing in self-pity, the Stoic approach would be to ask, what can I learn from this experience? On a more personal level, imagine facing a health challenge, like an injury or illness. While it's easy to feel defeated in such situations, Stoicism encourages us to see adversity as a chance to build mental toughness. By focusing on how you can adapt and grow from the experience, maybe by developing healthier habits or cultivating patience, you turn what seems like a negative into a positive. Problems are inevitable, but your perspective on them is entirely within your control. By viewing challenges as opportunities for growth, you'll approach life's difficulties with resilience and optimism, knowing that every setback is a stepping stone to personal development. 
cultivate gratitude. Gratitude is a cornerstone of Stoic practice. By appreciating what you already have, you create a buffer against the inevitable challenges and losses that life brings. When you focus on what you have rather than what you lack, you develop a sense of inner peace that external events cannot disturb. In your daily life, take time to reflect on the things you're grateful for. This can be as simple as appreciating your morning coffee or the roof over your head. When you actively cultivate gratitude, it shifts your mindset from one of scarcity to one of abundance. A stoic practice might include starting each day by writing down three things you're grateful for, no matter how small. For example, after a tough day at work, instead of dwelling on what went wrong, remind yourself of what went right. Maybe it's as simple as a good conversation with a co-worker or the fact that you have a job to come back to tomorrow. This simple act of focusing on the positives, even in difficult times, trains your mind to see the good in every situation. Gratitude is a powerful tool for maintaining inner peace. By focusing on what you have rather than what you lack, you cultivate a mindset of abundance that protects you from being affected by external challenges. Detach from outcomes. One of the most liberating principles of Stoicism is the idea of detaching from outcomes. You can't control the results of your actions, but you can control the effort you put into them. By focusing on the process rather than the outcome, you free yourself from disappointment and frustration. Consider a personal goal, such as getting in shape or advancing in your career. The non-stoic approach might be to fixate on the outcome, how much weight you've lost or whether you got the promotion. But a stoic would focus on the effort. Are you consistently working out? Are you putting in the effort to improve your skills at work? By focusing on the process, you remain in control and reduce the anxiety that comes from uncertain results. Similarly, in relationships, detaching from outcomes means loving without expecting anything in return. It means putting effort into your relationships because it's the right thing to do, not because you expect a certain outcome. By letting go of expectations, you free yourself from disappointment and allow things to unfold naturally. By detaching from outcomes and focusing solely on your effort, you'll find that life becomes much more manageable. You won't be swayed by failure or disappointment because your satisfaction will come from knowing you did your best. Eight, practice, mindfulness and presence. Stoicism teaches the importance of being fully present in the moment. While the mind often wanders to the past, regrets, or the future, worries, the Stoic believes that the present is all we truly have. By practicing mindfulness and focusing on the now, you reduce stress and increase your ability to handle life's challenges with calm and clarity. One way to practice mindfulness in your daily life is through focused breathing. Whenever you feel overwhelmed or distracted, take a moment to focus solely on your breath. Inhale deeply, exhale slowly, and bring your attention to the present. This simple exercise helps ground you and brings you back to the moment. Another practical example is during meals. Instead of rushing through your food while thinking about your to-do list, practice mindful eating. Savor each bite, notice the flavors, and be fully present in the experience. This simple practice can extend to any part of your day, whether it's spending time with loved ones, walking in nature, or even working on a task. Mindfulness and presence are essential tools for reducing stress and increasing resilience. By staying focused on the present moment, you'll find that many of your worries and anxieties fade away, leaving you more capable of handling life's challenges. Nine, keep your circle small. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of surrounding yourself with individuals who share your values and help you grow. The people you associate with can either lift you up or bring you down, so it's crucial to be mindful of the company you keep. Take an inventory of the people in your life. Are they helping you become a better version of yourself 
or are they bringing negativity and drama into your life? If it's the latter, consider setting boundaries or limiting your interaction with them. This doesn't mean you have to cut people out completely, but it does mean being selective about how much time and energy you invest in certain relationships. On the flip side, seek out relationships that challenge you to grow and think more deeply. Surround yourself with people who are wise, rational, and emotionally balanced. This could mean finding a mentor, joining a group with shared interests, or simply fostering deeper connections with the people who already add value to your life. By carefully curating your social circle, you create an environment that supports your growth and well-being. Positive relationships will help you maintain your inner peace, while toxic relationships will disrupt it. Choose wisely. 10. Reflect on your mortality. The Stoics were known for their practice of memento mori, or the reflection on one's mortality. Far from being morbid, this practice reminds us that life is short and time is our most valuable resource. By keeping this in mind, we can focus on what truly matters and avoid wasting time on trivial concerns. One way to incorporate memento mori into your life is by setting aside time each day to reflect on the fact that life is finite. This doesn't mean dwelling on death, but rather using the knowledge of life's brevity to motivate yourself to live fully. When you're faced with a difficult decision, ask yourself, if today were my last day, what choice would I make? This perspective helps you focus on what's truly important and avoid getting caught up in trivial matters. Another practical application is to simplify your life. When you reflect on the fact that you won't be around forever, it becomes easier to let go of things that don't serve you, whether it's material possessions, toxic relationships, or even unproductive habits. This reflection allows you to live more intentionally, focusing on what truly brings meaning and joy to your life. By reflecting on your mortality, you gain clarity on what truly matters in life. This practice helps you let go of trivial concerns and focus on living with purpose and intention, ensuring that nothing can affect your inner peace. These 10 Stoic principles offer a powerful roadmap for navigating life's challenges with grace and resilience. By focusing on what you can control, embracing discomfort, and practicing gratitude, you'll cultivate an inner strength that external events cannot shake. The more you integrate these teachings into your daily life, the more unshakable you'll become in the face of adversity. What Stoic principle resonates with you the most? Share it in the comments below. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into Stoicism and personal growth.